This video is to demonstrate supine positioning and draping. How's it going, man? How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. My name's Chris. I'm a PT student at UC. Nice what's your name? My name's Tim. Tim, what's your last name? Last name is Beckner. Right on. Uh, can I get your birthday? Yeah, it's October 30th. Yeah, what year? 83. Cool. That's what I have on your chart here. What do you have? You go ahead and lay down on your back. I'm going to throw a pillow under your head there for you. A small pillow or cervical roll may be placed under the patient's head, but excessive neck and upper back flexion or scapular abduction should be avoided. Additionally, a small pillow or rolled towel may be placed behind the knees to provide comfort. Are you comfortable there, Tim? Is, uh, can I get you a pillow for your ankle? Do you feel okay? No, I feel that. It's comfortable. Okay. Make sure everything's on the table where it should be. Ensure that the patient's body and extremities are totally supported on the table. The primary reasons to appropriately drape or clothe the patient are to expose or free an area to be treated, address modesty concerns, maintain a comfortable body temperature, and protect the skin and clothing from being, becoming soiled or damaged. All right, Tim, it looks like in your chart you're going to have some work done on your shoulders here. I'm going to, going to get your arms out from under there. In the supine position, the patient's upper extremities can be exposed for treatment. In some instances, it may be necessary to apply the drape into the axilla or to shield the anterior and lateral areas of the chest. Tim, I also see you're going to have some work done on your knees today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, expose your legs here. Additionally, with the patient supine, the lower extremities can be exposed for treatment. A towel or sheet can be used to drape the patient's groin. The cover must be applied high in the groin and under the thigh to shield the perineum fully. Are you comfortable there, Tim? Anything else I can do for you? It's a little chilly here. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and put your arms back under the sheet here. It is important for the caregiver to determine whether the patient has specific cultural, religious, or personal requests or preferences that would affect the draping process.